In this tutorial, I'm going to build my 3D model by using primitive solids. So if you go to home and inside the modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and you can find the different shapes. Or if you go to solid, click this drop down arrow and you can find these shapes and including this tree. So to start the drawing, you can go to view controls, click and select Southwest Isometric. Make sure to work on parallel projection. And I'm gonna start from the bottom and use cone. Click anywhere on the screen and enter 3.52. And bring your cursor upward, right click, and select top radius. And the radius here is 4.85. So enter 4.85. And the height is 2.3. So I just did this one here. Now I'm going to draw a cylinder from this point to this point. So go to modeling panel, click this drop down arrow and select cylinder, snap the center, snap the quadrant, and bring your cursor upward for 12.2. Now I'm going to change this to 2D wireframe and I'm going to create the ribs. So I'm going to create these ones here. So one, two, three, four indentations. And I'm going to use Tauros, so click this drop down arrow inside the modeling panel and select Tauros. And snap the center. Snap the quadrant. And the thickness of, the, of this um, Tauros or indentation is 1.5. And... Um, I can enter the radius, so half for that is 0.75. Now, I'm going to change this to shaded with edges. And I'm going to move this downward for 0.75 to level off the very top to the face of the cylinder. So move and enter 0.75. Now, I'm going to copy this one. Copy selection, click anywhere on the screen, move your cursor downward, right click and select array and enter four items to array and the distance, just turn on your ortho mode and the distance between the indentation here is as shown here is three, so enter three and enter again. Now I'm going to use subtract command, I can type in SU for subtract command or go to the ribbon inside the solid editing panel, you can find subtract command and select the objects you want to keep, right click and select the objects you want to remove or subtract. Alright, now I'm going to apply fillet, so go to solid, select fillet edge. Go down to command prompt, click radius option, and enter 0.35. As shown here. So click the edges. This one, this one here. And this one. Enter twice. And another fillet here is uh, 1.5. So fillet edge again. Radius, enter 1.5. And click this one here. Enter twice. Now moving on, I create another cylinder from this point to this point, and the height is 10.3. So I'm just gonna type in CYL, shortcut for cylinder, snap the center, snap the quadrant, and move this upward 
or your cursor upward for 10.3. And before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on, polar tracking or ortho mode, uh, object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, 3D object snap, and dynamic QCS. The next one to draw is a cone. So type C-O-N-E. Look at center. So you can see that once it turns blue, you can see that the blue color. Just snap that. Snap the quadrant. Bring your cursor upward. Right click and select top radius. And the top radius is from this point to this point is 5.92. So enter 5.92. And the height is 1.2. Now, cylinder for this one here. So, CYL. Snap the center. Click the quadrant. Bring it up for 4.5. The next one is cone for this one here. So, C-O-N-E. Snap the center. Snap the quadrant. Bring your cursor upward, right click and select top radius and enter 5.9, no, the top radius is this one here. So again, cone, snap the center, snap the quadrant, bring your cursor upward, right click, select top radius and enter 2.95 and the height from this point to this point is 7 and enter and the next one is cylinder or this one here so CYL look at center snap Click the quadrant, bring your cursor upward, and enter 14 units. By the way, the units we're using is in millimeters. Another cylinder. So CYL, enter, snap the center, but this time we're not snapping the quadrant because it has a different uh, diameter. So type D for diameter option, and enter 4.5. And bring your cursor upward for 7.95. Alright. So I'm going to measure the height. The total height is 59.45. Just to make sure. I didn't make a mistake. So distance from center to the center here is 59.45. So we're okay. Now I'm going to combine the segments or the objects. So you can go to solid editing panel, use uh, union command, or you can type in U in I and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to bring this to front view. I'm just going to turn off the grid. And the next thing to draw is the bore. But I'm just going to draw it outside the object and later attach it at the center. So I'm going to start from the bottom. First, bring your Z axis vector upward. Or I could just do southwest isometric. So cone. Click anywhere on the screen. Type in. 2.6 for radius bring your cursor upward for and right click and select top radius and enter 2.25 and the height is 0.35 and the next one we're gonna draw the cylinder and the height is 33.15 so CYL, 
snap the center snap the quadrant bring it up for 33.15 the next one is cone so c-o-n-e snap the center snap the quadrant bring your drawing or your cursor upward right click and select top radius and enter 1.1 enter and the height is 1.99 now another cylinder so cyl snap the center snap the quadrant bring it up and the height is 23.61 enter and the very top is cone so c-o-n-e snap the center snap the quadrant bring this one up right click and select top radius and it's uh, 1.45 and the height is 0 0.35 I'm just gonna measure the height for this one so it's 59.45 it should be equal with this one so di to measure the distance enter and start from the center of the face go down to the center of the face at the bottom and it's 59.45 so we're okay I'm gonna union the objects so you and I for union command and just window the whole thing now this is one object I'm gonna apply fillet here so go to solid select fillet edge and enter 12 for here I didn't apply it here because it's hard to dimension the object when it is filleted so I'm just gonna go to model and fillet this one radius is 12 and apply it here so this is the curve here and uh, so I'm gonna do fillet edge radius enter 12 click that edge enter wait fillet edge radius enter 12 enter and click that edge enter twice and for this one here for this edge is 1.5 and for this one so repeat fillet edge right click to select radius option and enter 1.5 click this edge and click this edge enter twice and for the bottom is also 1.5 so right click to repeat fillet edge right click to select radius option enter and select this um, yeah I did that already for this um, edge here I applied fillet all right so the next thing to do so I'm gonna change this to x-ray it's easier to see is move this object which is the bore move from the face center of the face to center of the face here see that circle snap let me check I'm gonna bring this to front view yeah I think it's good so you subtract command sub click the object you want to keep right click and select the object you want to subtract so in this case the this uh, bore all right I'm just gonna minimize this one maximize this one I'm gonna change this to realistic I'm gonna copy this one bring my drawing to top view 
slice this uh, object here hover over from the center So this is uh, just to show you what happened. I could always use section plane, but um, you can also do this. Now I'm gonna apply materials, so type materials, and click this uh, drop down arrow beside Autodesk library, and select ceramic. I'm gonna use ice white. So click this uh, arrow, and um, Select the object, right click here and assign to selection. I'm just going to close this one, delete this one, and go to visualize and click this drop down arrow here and adjust exposure setting. I'm going to make this whiter and brighter. And I think I'm done. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial.